close the temperature, so we're going to dump a bucket of beans in. We're almost ready here to start our first batch. It goes through about a 15, 16 minute warm up period. Well, that's 16 minutes right there. Start off my first batch with a little lower temperature than I normally do with the rest of the batches. During the growth, you have to check your temperature and your time so you can adjust so the beans don't get too hot too fast or stay in there too long, that sort of thing. I've got to dump them into here. This is the roasting part. I can check my beans through this little sampler right here. I can pull them out and check them whenever I want to. These beans here are long, so you have to roast them to get them to where you can make coffee with them. And different beans have different moisture content in them, caffeine content in them. So some people like a lighter roast, a medium roast, a dark roast, or an extra bold roast. So you have to watch what you're doing and take them out at the proper time. Uh, and that, you know, it's just something that you, you learn how to do and you kind of, you kind of come up with your own roasting style. Right now I'm waiting for about three minutes and I'm going to push some air into the roaster so that it cools it off a little bit. It'll, it'll remove the chaff off the beans. The chaff is a skinny, a skin layer of the cat and it needs to come off. So you go to, go to the, put the air in the roaster for a little bit and take it back out and the chaff will be pretty much gone. It takes off a lot of it. The air in here makes it cooler. Oh, okay. I'm going to do right now. Just touch this roaster button right here. And you'll see this green light go from here to here. And now the air is in there. So it's cooling it down just a little bit. I'm going to get beans too hot too fast. That's when you start having... That's one way to scorch the beans or you know, char them. Make them taste burnt. Now you can see it's starting to turn a little bit yellow. I'm going to go ahead and switch the air right now to 50-50. Half the air is going in there, half the air is still down here. You don't want these beans to get too hot too fast. This does is cool the beans after, they're, after they come out of the roaster. Now I'm just going to cool it down a little bit and then 
In a minute here, I'm going to almost completely shut the gas off. Because you know, the beans get so warm, so hot, that they're actually cooking themselves. If you shut, the, shut the, the gas off and let them continue to cook on their own. You know that by, you can listen, because here in a, in a few more seconds, you can start to hear this crackle and pop. It's called the first crack. And now they're starting to turn another color. Cracking now. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm going to go to about 10% now. I was at 70%. 70% of the gas is on. Now it's going 10%. View your gas right through this little window here. You can see the burner down there. blue flame now where before it was red hot. We're going to beep here in a little while at about 425. We're at 410 right now. At 425 you hear a beep. It, it, it tells you to start paying attention, basically. You need to watch it because it starts turning. Real quick. At only 10% fuel, we're still climbing in temperature. The beans are so hot in there. It's still cracking, so we're in good shape. We're in good shape so far. Here comes that loud beep I was telling you about. Right now. Shut that off as soon as I can. Annoying. Now you can see they're starting to brown up a little bit. The backs are still kind of wrinkly. We want to get those smoothed out. And you might want to see just a little bit of sweat on them, which is the oil coming out. We'll see here in a little bit. We haven't got far to go. somewhere around probably 16 minutes when we're done and that's drawing it out a little bit but my first batches are always kind of that way um, I don't know what it all had to do with the, the machine heating up for your first batch and whatnot but, but 16 minutes is good and now we're at, well we're going to be closer to 15 and now it's at 440 I'm going to put my, my cooler back down here, my agitator on, and I'm going to check it real quick. This, this is about where I want it, right here. I've got a little bit of sweat on it, the backs are smoothing out. That's what I want right there.
here. And this is what you want to see. When you dump the beans in, it cools down, the temperature cools down, then at about a minute and a half, it starts climbing back up. And you want that to climb through the whole roast. You don't, it, it's okay, this is where I cooled it down, right at that point right there, right there. That's why it has a little bend in it. But you do not want that red line to go flat. You want it to climb up through the whole roast. I'll be ready to use really until tomorrow about this time. I want to degas. So they sit in the can. We put a lid on it, but it'll still degas. And uh, you just don't want to grind them the same day that you roast it. Does it mean it's actually still working? Degassing is a. Uh, Bean releases gas and it has to get out. And uh, you'll notice on a bag, here's a bag of decaf, there's a valve right there. That valve lets gas come out but doesn't let air go in. It's a one way valve. Now you can see how they turn this ugly color and they get all wrinkled up looking. We're approximately, well, a little more than halfway through the rows. And they really turn kind of funny looking, but that's normal. I just put the air back into the roaster. Okay, now, can you hear that pop? Okay, I'm... A little bit ago, you saw that they were kind of orangey looking. They're already turning brown. Let's see what it looks like in here. Yeah, see that orange is gone. Now we're a light brown. And you can hear it crack good now. Does that beat? It helps me to start really paying attention. Where's it from? These are these are a mix of two beans. One is from uh, Peru. The other one is from the island of Sumatra.